Buffalo, the Sabres ready to roar for the fans here tonight. The Sabres are going to start with the puck after taking the opening draw. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Thompson's going off for interference. The league is trying to crack down on the cross-checking penalties here, James. They got to eliminate it from the game. It's dangerous, it's reckless, and guess what? He's going to get the two minutes. A little more room out there with a little four-on-four. Well, four on four is similar to three on three. There's more ice available, and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two on ones all over. Buffalo's got it into the offensive zone. Off a stick, and they can't connect. Taken along the wall by Fabry. Moves it to Skinner. Loose puck battle along the boards. Taken by Sharon Govich. In second. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Buffalo's got some room to do something here on this power play as their penalty expired. Takes the shot. What the stop. Peterson's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Anytime you lose position on your opponent, this can happen. He gets the sticks out in the feet of his opponent, and guess what? He gets the tripping call. Well, things open up for both sides a little bit here with some four-on-four -four action. On a four-on-four, -four, you can expect all players on the ice when you're possessing the puck to activate. You have to be able to support the puck carrier, and if you're a defender, you know you're jumping into a lane going north. And that's a great hits-up play by Vlasic. An opportunity for some power play time now as he steps back out onto the ice. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. The Sharks will play it from the defensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Stastny. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Oh, CP, you know what he wanted there. Just came up a little wide. Well, J.C. certainly did. He pulled it into his body. And as he corralled it, he lets it rip. But hockey's a game of inches. And that one just misses. And we're going on. From the left side, they gain the zone. Positioning, James. He gets set to that puck square to it and makes the save. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the faceoff. Offense is on faceoff and he wins the draw. Takes it into the slot. Levi's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Yarncrocks recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Buffalo's got it in the defensive zone. The Sabres will play it in their own end. The Sharks have it against the wall. Takes a shot with the stop. Powers taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. Nieto's been nabbed for tripping.
four on four hockey as both teams step inside the faceoff circle. Four on four, you want to utilize north, south, east, west, and capitalize on the speed with the extra ice available. You can bet your coaching staff is going to put some pretty quick players out there. Grabbed along the board by Lawton. Here he is, shot and shot. Turn that one aside. Hear the size on the bench as that third penalty within the frame has been called here, James. A tough position as they can't get any rhythm going on their bench. A little four on four coming up here. Not typically that we see four on four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of, they know what they're doing, they want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. Takes the feed at the point. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Tuck. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Buffalo's got a hold of the puck now. And now it's grabbed by Carrier. And that's picked off by Eklund. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. Pulls it to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. Fabry swooping in on the attack. The Sharks scoop it up along the boards. San Jose is looking to break out. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. And he keeps possession. Yarko's penalty is almost expired. Takes a shot. Oh, what a stop with the pad by Brasic. The Sharks' power play has expired. Both teams now back in the strength. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Denies him. He got all of it. San Jose's got it in their own zone. The Sharks cross the line and gain the zone. Oh, my goodness, it's Skeeda. What a save. It was all but in James, and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. Plays it up from the back end. Officials stop the play, and all of this place erupts. Yeah, you know how you change the energy for your team right there, James. All the fans are on their feet giving you a standing ovation, and that's just a great feeling. Unbelievable. Defensive game is his primary focus, guys, but don't be surprised if he jumps in on the attack. Darlene's a star defender on his team's blue line. Let's see if one of these players can give their team the edge tonight. I know I'll be watching. Guys, back to you. And it doesn't reach the net because it goes off a stick. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Handles the puck. Blocked in front. San Jose's got the puck. Bordelow's got it in the defensive end. Great forecheck by Khrushchev. Slides it diagonally to Turkov. The Sharks have it now. Quick pass to Peterson. And now he moves it quickly to Turkov. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Let's see what the officials say. Another stick infraction, and you know that coaches don't like this one. A product of not being in good position, reaching, and then taking the trip because you weren't moving your feet. San Jose's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. When the power play is struggling, you got to get a screen in front. The purpose is to open up more lanes where the shooter gets a better look and the goaltender can't see. San Jose's got the puck along the boards. Looking for space inside the D zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Gains the zone along the right wall. Here's a short pass to Eklund. And he takes the pass. Too much congestion in front. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. 
Well, you can see the coach looks skyward on that third call of the period. They know that they got to get back to even strength and get some kind of offense generating. Batten down the hatches. Things should open up here with a little four-on-four -on, -four on the ice. Four-on-four -four can be pretty confusing when it comes to coverage. You know that your defense have the forwards. The forwards have to be able to contain the D as well. So it's complete defense out there. Just enough to keep it out of the net. A timely save is everything to your team. And this goaltender, he bails his team out. Here's the puck. Quick feed to Tuck. Shot from in tight, James, that beats the goaltender. But how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you got to have the will. The Sabres have to be feeling good about themselves after getting on the board first here. I like the tempo, especially in the latter half of this period, James. They've had more speed, more urgency to their game, and they're rewarded with that goal. The Sabres penalty has expired. They now go to work on the power play. Sharon Kovic has got the puck. Blocked in traffic. Moves it quickly over to Krebs. Battle along the wall. Textbook hook check by Walker. Buffalo's ready to go on the attack. Quick shot. Here's a shot. And he comes up with the glove save. Thompson's ready for the draw on this man advantage. Here's the San Jose is going to start with the puck in their own end. Quick pass to Ferraro. Stasny standing up, ready to go. Moves it to Darlene. Both sides are evened up as the power play has expired. The Sharks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Tries to feed it over to Bortolo. And loses possession after a solid hit. San Jose has got the puck inside the defensive zone. forward has got it now deep inside his own end. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. They got to put a pin in the penalty balloon here, James. Them frustrating calls, no question about it. But they got to figure out a way to control their emotion and get back in this game. The Sharks send their man advantage unit out once more. A power play that can even the score here, James. It is massively important that they create some kind of momentum in their favor on this one. San Jose is going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. A nasty whack, and the officials all over that one. And here's the pass to Farabari. Shot! That was amazing! What a save by Mrazic! Let's get the call here. When you're down a goal, you can't generate any offense if you're short-handed. They're going to have to be opportunistic, find a way to kill it off, and then reset the momentum. Puck set to drop. We've got some four-on-four four coming up. A few ways to play a four-on-four. Four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck. But you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more ice out there for your opponent too. Saved there, James. He was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Eklund. Big stop right there. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Here in the back half of this period, we've got a 1 0 hockey game thus far. San Jose's won it, now they'll go on the attack. Big time stop. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. 
The Sabres win it in the defensive zone. Passes it over to Raquel. And takes the feed. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Here in the late goings of the period, Buffalo's up one zip. The Sabres power play expires. They now go to work for a short period on the power play. Quick pass to Farabari. Here's a chance. Oh, what a slick stuff by Verasic. He carries the puck up along the wing. Time's up on the power play. Both teams back to even strength. Steps into the offensive end. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Picked up along the boards by Vogel. Here's the shot. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Puck grab by Denisenko. Too many bodies in the way. Vogel's pass was so difficult, James. I mean, he stumbles and he's off balance. And he's still able to corral the puck and get it off with precision to the shooter. That leads to a great scoring chance. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. The Sharks gain control of the puck. And he takes the dish. Buffalo's got the puck in their own end. To the low slot. Oh, what a save in front. And it's a quick pass to Vlasic. Takes the feet at the back end. Buffalo's got a hold of it along the wall. Here's a short pass to Kurashev. Keep a hold of the puck after that play. Stahl's got it along the boards. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Let's get the call. Some fragile timing here, James, at the end of the period. It's a close game. Your peak airs have to get to work. They can get some rest of the intermission, and they can start the next period. He's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Well, the power plays for both teams have not been good tonight, James, but they have to find a way to stay focused. It isn't about what happened or what's going to. It's about right now. Moves the puck to Paterka. On the attack along the boards. Inside the final minute of the first here. Oh, and he lays out to block it. What a warrior. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Darlene. Penalty coming up here. Anytime you're in the dying minutes of a period, you have to maintain your focus, especially when you're shorthanded. It's all about creating some momentum and killing the penalty. As we get set for the face-off, a chance to see both teams in a little four-on-four -four action here. Buffalo's won the draw. Through the offensive zone and behind the net now. Buffalo's got the puck along the wall. San Jose's looking to break out of their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Red it perfectly and breaks up the play. As an athlete, you always want to try and contribute and get things going for your team, and especially when you're trailing, you want to ignite a spark. Unfortunately, though, they, he tried it a little too much there, and it gets taken away. Hey, fans, be sure to get your season tickets now at this year's playoff A clean sheet of ice, Beckers, and period number two set to get underway. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. The Sharks continue to find themselves chasing the game here, James. I mean, you look at the possession numbers. They really haven't had the puck. They're getting worn down right now. Scooped up along the wall. The Sharks are trying to claw their way back into this game, and that's not how you do it. When you have an opportunity to execute, you have to find the back of the net. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. After that hit, works it across to Ferraro. The Sabres man advantage is over. And he moves it up to Sharon Govich. Here's a shot. A 
And we got a stoppage in play as the whistle's blown. It looks like that pane of glass got busted from that shot. Whoa! There used to be that saying they don't make them like they used to, James. Well, in this case, it's all for the better as the glass, the technology is so much stronger and a blistering shot. You know that it's going to crack or spider the glass. But nowadays, you can just replace the pane. So we'll have to wait for the maintenance crew to make sure that they take care of it. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Buffalo's ahead, 1-0. San Jose's won the faceoff. Quick feed to Enzo. Here's a shot. And there's a club save on the play. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that goes off a player. The Sharks. Oh, save of the play. Whoa. He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. Such an impressive save. Love looking at this one again, James. You know that this goaltender is dialed in so focused when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay. San Jose is looking to convert on some of these chances. They've had plenty of opportunities, but have been snake-bitten thus far. Buffalo's won the face-off deep in their own end. And that pass goes off a stick. Levi's last save was so impressive, James. Really a last-ditch effort to find the puck. When you have battle, when you have will, your opponent, everyone around you gets energized. Just look at the bench. Everyone is elevated because of that save. Well, the bench doesn't like this call, James. It's untimely, to say the least, with that one-goal lead. Now, the PK unit, they got to get out there, and they got to do a job. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. Well, a timely power play at this juncture of the game, James, to even it up. This is huge for this power play. Your big stars, they need to shine. And they'll dump it in. The Sharks gain possession along the wall. With some open space at center. Moves it quickly over to Sharon Kovic. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save. He plucked up one. This is an impressive save right here, James. I mean, there's a ton of net front presence, and so a lot of traffic that he has to battle through to find the puck, and he does, and he makes a nice save. Jaren Crox won the draw here in the defensive zone. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. And the officials will pass the sentence here. And yet another penalty is called, so out comes the PK unit. And you know what? They are taxed. They are worn down. If this continues, it's all going to backfire. And it's four against four here with the puck set to drop. Well, four on four is similar to three on three. There's more ice available, and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two on ones all over. Moves it to Engvall. Denies him in front. Goaltenders work so much on their reaction time, and man, this is just a clinic right now as he flashes the glove and makes the save. Still plenty of time left in this frame. one nothing the score. Buffalo's taking possession in their own end. Angles it over to Tuck. Oh, and here's the pass. Makes the save. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. The Sharks have had multiple scoring opportunities, but they still trail in the second. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Grabbed in the open ice by Sharon Govich. The Sabres will have a chance to go to work here on the man advantage after the penalty expired. San Jose's got a hold of it against the wall. Quick pass to Peterson. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. And some good footwork to kick it away. Tucks lugging the puck. Hugs the board through the neutral zone. Here's a short pass to Peterson. Dished on over to Fogel. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. 
The Sabres fail to capitalize on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. Here's a shot. Oh, club save and a beauty. I'm not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. The Sharks need to find a way to convert on one of these scoring chances as they trail here in period number two. Buffalo's got the win off that draw. Anderson's moving the puck through his own zone. Centering pass. Only comes up with a stop. Quick feed to Thompson. Picked up along the wall by Denisenko. The Sabres have it in the offensive zone. Quick pass over to Stastny. And he slides it quickly to Martinick. Handles the pass. And he takes the feed. Takes a shot. A rocker off the blocker. San Jose's gained possession along the boards. He knows he's only one goal away from his next milestone. That's why he's possessing the puck tonight. Taken along the wall by Nieto. A chance for the shot. He gets a piece of it with his trapper. Nice play. Across the line. Puck picked up by Dolly. And that's hooked away. And the puck escapes the zone, and they'll be forced to tag up. Buffalo's got it along the wall. Fantastic save! Oh, a spectacular save on the play! And look at this! They turn this offensive end into a pressure cooker! Nearing the midway mark of the period. We got a one nothing game to this point. Is dropping, he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Quick pass across to Bordalo. Looking to set up offensively. Puck scooped up by Truba. Skips for the crease. Scores! And we are back to even. Yeah, tie game now, James. I really like the energy that they've showed throughout the game, but now it's about channeling the energy they've just created and doing something with it. Well, that puck is on and off his stick in a hurry, and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. The Sharks get a hold of the puck off the draw. Power stick handling in his own zone. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Here's a shot. We got a stoppage as the puck sails over the glass. Past the midway mark of the frame. We are all tied up in this one. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Taken by Truba. And a smart heads up play with the bank. Oh, kind of struggle with that one, but he got just enough to keep it out. Levi's dialed in and able to redirect that puck to the corner. Lays the body. Takes the feed. Truba's got it across the line. The Sabres gain possession. Poked away in the offensive end. The Sabres ready to go on the attack. Handles the puck at the board. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. The Sabres gain control of the puck against the wall. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Sharon Kovic is going to play it against the half wall. Moves it quickly over to Dennis Senko. Centering pass! Buffalo's moving it into the offensive end. Shot! Oh, he just got enough of that one to keep it out. Denies him again. Well, he has been under siege, and I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. Receives the pass. Great save. Played it perfect. Moves it to Sharon Bowman. Oh, can't get it to Cole. Oh, and there's a good scoring chance. It's a quick release shot, but unable to convert. Sends it over to Krebs. 
Whacks it into the offensive zone. And down he goes as the puck goes free. There's a shot, and the puck skips off the glove. And he's taken down. The officials aren't singling for a penalty. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. Well, the refs are calling a really tight game, and man, this has been a parade to the penalty box, and the entire bench looks agitated, and as a result, they keep taking more. The Sharks once again send out their power play unit. The specialty teams certainly have been off, and when they aren't working, you just got to find a way to get it to the net. Don't try and get too fine, too pretty. The ugly goal is also the one that's going to give you the mojo. And he denied that opportunity. There's another stop. Levi's been dominant in the crease tonight. He's turned away a lot of high-danger shots, and he's really found a way to build some momentum for his team, giving him a real opportunity to win. The Sabres are on the attack. And they'll go off for a change after dumping it in. Knocked around, but keeps it going. Quick pass to Ferraro. Moves the puck over to Thompson. Toss it up on the play. Grabbed along the board by Ekman. Nice speed from the left side up the middle. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Oh, and that closes him off against the wall. Plays the puck up ahead. Great vision to see that stretch pass. From the point, looks to make something happen. The Sabres get a hold of the puck under man. And he serves it across to power. Enters the offensive zone from the left. And he slides it quickly to Lawton. What a blocker! been shaken up after that hit. I mean, he goes down to the ice right through the body. You feel the effects, especially right from your skates, right through your head. That's a tough one to take. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. The Sharks win the draw here in their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Quick feed to Gregor. The Sabres will kill off a few extra seconds now. Buffalo's killed the penalty. What a PK unit tonight. It doesn't get much better than perfect, James. Just knowing exactly what they're going to do, sometimes it just seems easy. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. The Sharks have it behind the net. Here's a short pass to Forbore. Oh, and it just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Wow, the whole team is really under pressure, and the fans know it. Getting into the later stages of this period, we're going to tie game. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Shot! Gets in front of it. Buffalo's got control of the puck. Approaching the final 60 seconds here in the second. Darlene's got it on the offensive end. The Sharks have it against the wall. Picked up along the boards by Gregor. The Sabres look to start the transition game. Feeds the puck across to Raquel. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. Fans desperately calling for a shot before the buzzer. Oh, and they can't connect on the pass because it was broken up in front. And that concludes the second period of play. Still one more period of regulation time. We'll see what happens in the third next. Hey, hockey fans, follow the team all season long on the A clean sheet of ice beckons, and period number two set to get underway. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. The Sharks continue to find themselves chasing the game here, James. I mean, you look at the possession numbers. They really haven't had the puck. They're getting worn down right now. Scooped up along the wall. Oh, the outside of the 
Hoston stays out. The Sharks are trying to claw their way back into this game, and that's not how you do it. When you have an opportunity to execute, you have to find the back of the net. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to post that one away. Toss up the puck after that hit. Works it across to Ferraro. The Sabres' man advantage is over. And he moves it up to Sharon Govich. Here's a shot. And we got a stoppage in play as the whistle's blown. It looks like that pane of glass got busted from that shot. Whoa. There used to be that saying, they don't make them like they used to, James. Well, in this case, it's all for the better as the glass, the technology is so much stronger. And a blistering shot, you know that it's going to crack or spider the glass. But nowadays, you can just replace the pane. So we'll have to wait for the maintenance crew to make sure that they take care of it. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Buffalo's ahead, 1-0. San Jose's won the faceoff. Quick feed to Enfield. Here's a shot. And there's a club save on the play. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that goes off a player. The Sharks. Oh, oh, save of the play. Whoa. He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. Such an impressive save. Love looking at this one again, James. You know that this goaltender is dialed in so focused when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay. San Jose is looking to convert on some of these chances. They've had plenty of opportunities, but have been snake bitten thus far. Buffalo's won the face off deep in their own end. And that pass goes off a stick. Levi's last save was so impressive, James. Really a last ditch effort to find the puck. When you have battle, when you have will, your opponent, everyone around you gets energized. Just look at the bench. Everyone is elevated because of that save. Well, the bench doesn't like this call, James. It's untimely to say the least with that one goal lead. Now, the PK unit, they got to get out there and they got to do a job. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. Well, a timely power play at this juncture of the game, James, to even it up. This is huge for this power play. Your big stars, they need to shine. And they'll dump it in. The Sharks gain possession along the wall. With some open space at center. Moves it quickly over to Sharon Goldich. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save. He clumped up one. This is an impressive save right here, James. I mean, there's a ton of net front presence, and so a lot of traffic that he has to battle through to find the puck, and he does, and he makes a nice save. Darren Crocs won the draw here in the defensive zone. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. And the officials will pass the sentence here. And yet another penalty is called, so out comes the PK unit. And you know what? They are taxed. They are worn down. If this continues, it's all going to backfire. And it's four against four here with the puck set to drop. Well, four on four is similar to three on three. There's more ice available, and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two on one all over. Moves it to Enval. Denies him in front. Goaltenders work so much on their reaction time, and man, this is just a clinic right now as he flashes the glove and makes the save. Still plenty of time left in this frame. one nothing the score. Buffalo's taking possession in their own end. Angles it over to Tuck. Oh, and here's the pass. Makes the save. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. The Sharks have had multiple scoring opportunities, but they still trail in the second. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Grabbed in the open ice by Sharon Govich. 
The Sabres will have a chance to go to work here on the man advantage after the penalty expired. San Jose's got a hold of it against the wall. Quick pass to Peterson. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. And some good footwork to kick it away. Tucks lugging the puck. Hugs the boards through the neutral zone. Here's a short pass to Peterson. Dished on over to Fogel. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. The Sabres fail to capitalize on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. Here's a shot. Oh, club save and a beauty. I'm not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. The Sharks need to find a way to convert on one of these scoring chances as they trail here in period number two. Buffalo's got the win off that draw. Anderson's moving the puck through his own zone. Centering pass. Only comes up with a stop. Quick feed to Thompson. Picked up along the wall by Denisenko. The Sabres have it in the offensive zone. Quick pass over to Stastny. And he slides it quickly to Martinick. Handles the pass. And he takes the feed. Takes the shot. A rocker off the blocker. San Jose's gained possession along the boards. He knows he's only one goal away from his next milestone. That's why he's possessing the puck tonight. Taken along the wall by Nieto. A chance for the shot. He gets a piece of it with his trapper. Nice play. Across the line. Puck picked up by Dali. And that's hooked away. And the puck escapes the zone, and they'll be forced to tag up. Buffalo's got it along the wall. Fantastic save! Oh, spectacular save on the play! And look at this! They turn this offensive end into a pressure cooker! Nearing the midway mark of the period. We got a one nothing game to this point. is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Quick pass across to Bordolo. Looking to set up offensively. Puck scooped up by Truba. Scoops for the crease. Scores! And we are back to even. Yeah, tie game now, James. I really like the energy that they've showed throughout the game, but now it's about channeling the energy they've just created and doing something with it. Well, that puck is on and off his stick in a hurry, and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. The Sharks get a hold of the puck off the draw. Power stick handling in his own zone. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Here's a shot. We got a stoppage as the puck sails over the glass. Past the midway mark of the frame. We are all tied up in this one. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Taken by Truba. And a smart heads up play with the bank. Oh, kind of struggle with that one, but he got just enough to keep it out. Levi's dialed in and able to redirect that puck to the corner. Lays the body. Takes the feed. Truva's got it across the line. The Sabres gain possession. Poked away in the offensive end. The Sabres ready to go on the attack. Handles the puck at the point. Owen stays out. He got a piece of that one. The Sabres gain control of the puck against the wall. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Sharon Kovic is going to play it against the half wall. Moves it quickly over to Dennis Senko. Centering pass. 
Buffalo's moving it into the offensive end. Shot! Oh, he just got enough of that one to keep it out. Delos him again. Well, he has been under siege, and I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. Receives the pass. Great save. Played it perfect. Moves it to Sherm's over. Oh, can't get it to Cole. Oh, and there's a good scoring chance. It's a quick release shot, but unable to convert. Sends it over to Krebs. Whacks it into the offensive zone. And down he goes as the puck goes free. There's a shot, and the puck skips off the glove. And he's taken down. The officials aren't singling for a penalty. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. The refs are calling a really tight game, and man, this has been a parade to the penalty box, and the entire bench looks agitated, and as a result, they keep taking more. The Sharks once again send out their power play unit. The specialty teams certainly have been off, and when they aren't working, you just got to find a way to get it to the net. Don't try and get too fine, too pretty. The ugly goal is also the one that's going to give you the mojo. And he denied that opportunity. There's another stop. Levi's been dominant in the crease tonight. He's turned away a lot of high-danger shots, and he's really found a way to build some momentum for his team, giving a real opportunity to win. The Sabres are on the attack. And they'll go off for a change after tumbling it in. Knocked around, but keeps it going. Quick pass to Ferraro. Moves the puck over to Thompson. Toss it up on the play. Grabbed along the board by Eklund. Nice speed from the left side up the middle. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Oh, and that closes him off against the wall. Plays the puck up ahead. Great vision to see that stretch pass. From the point, looks to make something happen. The Sabres get a hold of the puck under man. And he serves it across to power. Enters the offensive zone from the left. And he slides it quickly to Lawton. What a blocker! Stop and pull by Graves. That was it. And another beauty stop right there. Power's been shaken up after that hit. I mean, he goes down to the ice right through the body. You feel the effects, especially right from your skates, right through your head. That's a tough one to take. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. The Sharks win the draw here in their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Quick feed to Gregor. The Sabres will kill off a few extra seconds now. Buffalo's killed the penalty. What a PK unit tonight. It doesn't get much better than perfect, James. Just knowing exactly what they're going to do, sometimes it just seems easy. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. The Sharks have it behind the net. Here's a short pass to Forbor. Oh, and it just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Wow, the whole team is really under pressure, and the fans know it. Getting into the later stages of this period, we're going to tie game. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Shot! Gets in front of it. Buffalo's got control of the puck. Oh, and another big stop! Approaching the final 60 seconds here in the second. Darlene's got it in the offensive end. The Sharks have it against the wall. Picked up along the boards by Gregor. The Sabres look to start the transition game. Feeds the puck across to Raquel. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. Fans desperately calling for a shot before the buzzer. Oh, and they can't connect on the pass because it was broken up in front. 
And that concludes the second period of play. Still one more period of regulation time. We'll see what happens in the third next. Hey, hockey fans, follow the team all season long on the radio for every minute of play. And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. We are underway here in the third, and this could come down to next goal wins. Takes the pass. Slides the puck across to Enval. Can't maintain possession after that hit. And the puck's not loose. And sends it just out of reach. Buffalo's got the puck along the boards. Slides it on over to Krieger. Poked away by Raquel. Sends a pass over. Buffalo's got the puck against the half wall. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Buffalo's got the puck. The Sabres play it along the boards. Referee signals penalty coming up here with a delayed call. Whistle blows, stopping the play. This is not the way they wanted the game to go. Just undisciplined, taking a ton of penalties. They'll have to reset and refocus if they want to find a way to get on top. Another chance here on the man advantage. Well, this certainly hasn't been a power play clinic for either team. They just haven't found a way to convert. Got to give it to the goaltenders, though. They're standing tall in the crease. Now a quick pass to Bortolo. Buffalo's got it in the neutral zone. San Jose's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Fires it. Can't get it to go. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Gloved by Morazic. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the faceoff. The Sabres will start off on the attack after winning the draw. And that's turned aside. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Peterson's side still short-handed here as they slide in for the face-off. And off the draw, they win possession. Buffalo's got a hold of it along the wall. San Jose's penalty killers get a hold of it. Intercepted by Walker. San Jose's got a hold of the puck. Here they come. Throws it in. Takes 
the feed. San Jose's got a hold of the puck now. Scooped up along the wall by Tolvanen. San Jose's got possession here in the offensive zone. Puck clears the zone and they'll be forced to regroup. Some good stick work to force that turnover. Quick pass to Dahlin. Nice feed from the right wing. And now it's grabbed by Yarncro. Big save. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. Still lots of time left here in this frame. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. The Sharks come up with the defensive zone draw. San Jose's time in the box is up, and we are back to even strength and still tied up here. What a night this PK is having and creating energy because special teams, that's what they do, and you can put your opponent on their heels just by a good kill. Great job. And a quick little stick lift and comes up with a turnover. Looking to set up offensively. Oh, and he can't bury that one. Uh, you don't get many opportunities like this in the game, James. You have to execute. He completely misses the net. Scrum and Sue's along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Carrier. Moves it on over to Thompson. Huge steal at his own end. The sink has been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. Well, we know the time on ice numbers are all going to the penalty killers here, James, because it has been an onset, a parade to the penalty box. They've got to find a way to play even strength. The Sharks send their men advantage unit out once more. Well, these power plays have to find a way to reset. It's a critical time in the game. You have to find a way to execute and give your team some positive energy. Quick feed to Anderson. The Sabres take it along the wall. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Slides it diagonally to Denisenko. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Here's a short pass to Enzo. Levi's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Engvall's ready to take the draw here on this power play. Buffalo's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Takes a shot. Love save made by Levi. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Yarncroft's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Buffalo's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Tries to feed it over to Shane Village. chance and one that he will want back the puck is all around him though if he continues to get to the right spot at the right time you gotta figure he's gonna book one by the tendy puts it on in denies him taken along the wall by Farafari grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage look at this two on one oh, oh what a chance and they miss moves it quickly over to Ferrara another stop by the goaltender well, you know that he's a fierce competitor, and he battled to make consecutive saves there, James. Here's a chance! Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Stasty's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Can't hang on after that hit. Sends the pass over. Here they come. Down the left side on the attack. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. Power's called for tripping. defensive side of it but listen the goaltenders had to make some huge save everyone's talking about the chances how about the tenders and their positioning and the ability to move within the net moves it to Denisenko 
right up Main Street and on the attack. The center of game! And he ups the backtrack here with the play. A chance! Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. It's the full use of his stick on the poke check. Now he takes it over the line. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Dennis Sinkless actions pretty evident in the eyes of the officials here for tripping. Puck set to drop. We've got some 4-on-4 four four coming up. 4-on-4, four four, you want to utilize north, south, east, west and capitalize on the speed with the extra ice available. You can bet your coaching staff is going to put some pretty good players out there. Buffalo's got a hold of it against the wall. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. And as he steps back out onto the ice, they'll go to work with the man advantage here. Flip feed. The Sharks will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. Quick pass to Truba. And he keeps up. Eli's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. Skinner's taking it from his own end. And now he tries to get it across to Thompson. Chance in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. The Blackhawks are up next as this homestand continues. We'll be there. I think we're both expecting fireworks, so we hope to see you there as well. Thompson's ready for the draw on this man advantage. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Morazic's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Bortolo's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. And Jose's won the draw. Great poke by Thompson. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. This is a frustrating situation, James. Just taking a whack load of penalties and really unable to get any momentum in this game because they're shorthanded the whole time. Shorthanded. Slides it quickly to Thompson. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. The Sharks get a hold of the puck in their own end. From the right side, takes the pass. Off the left wing and into center. And that one stopped. The Sabres have it now. Crosses the puck loose. Slides it up to Ferraro. The Sharks gain the zone. Cuts into the paint. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Ten more seconds. The Sharks gain control of the puck against the wall. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. Power play now over both teams back at even strength, and the power play fails to deliver at a crucial time. Timing is everything, James. A critical moment of the game. You have a power play. You know how important it is, and you don't deliver. Real frustrating for the entire group. Scoops up the puck now. Buffalo's got it in their own zone. Quick feed to Darlene. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. 
Slides the puck down low. And now he moves it quickly to Darlene. Maintains control of the puck. And it's kicked away. Drives to the sweet spot. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Handles the puck. They go on the attack from the left side. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. The Sabres take it along the wing. And that's knocked away by Tobinen. Picked up along the boards by Vlasic. The Sharks will play it in their own end. Quick shot! Oh, and it comes up short as he just gets enough of that one. In a head-to-head -head matchup tonight, who had the better performance? True Buds, the player, I think, had the edge in tonight's matchup, guys. The deciding factor for me was the difference in points between the players we highlighted earlier. He obviously had more offense in tonight's game. Made the save on the play. Here's a short pass to Lindvall. Oh, it's a nice him on the one-timer. Wow! A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Sharon Kovic has won the face off, and now let's see what they can do. Good hit to bump him off the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Poirier. Play whistle dead, penalty coming up. They got to put a pin in the penalty balloon here, James. The frustrating calls, no question about it. But they got to figure out a way to control their emotion and get back in this game. So what do we do? We go to overtime. It's sudden death style. Will there be a hero? We'll find out next. Players are back on the ice. They're set as of the officials. Overtime. Let's find out. Puck is dropped and OT has begun. 
Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Jocelyn for the puck, but still maintains possession. Moves it to Anderson. San Jose is gaining possession along the boards. Nice zone entry from the middle. Good defensive stop with the poke jack. Dishes it to Stahl. Raquel is out of the sin bin and joins the penalty kill here. The Sharks played along the boards. 